Hello friends and friends, this is Stormy with the capital Z. Welcome to another game of uh, a Z challenge. Uh, the series which uh, probably people might have thought which is something like long forgotten. No, long forgotten. No, I have not forgotten about it yet. I still want to keep this alive. So, uh, this time, uh, I, it is me, the blue human player at the upper upper side of skit rallies and at the bottom side is the slayer 922 i'm pretty sure he has been waiting for this video since a long time uh an apology to you and uh we can finish off the other games later on if you wish so anyways getting out of the game he is going for a standard title opening with the altar at the green camp location it does signify that he wants to creep this out and get to level 2 as soon as possible well I'm going for a standard human build as well. Actually, I misplaced misplaced bear sword here. Should I place it a little this side so that I could have walled off this whole particular location as well? So the hero for me is going to be the archmage, the standard human hero as always, and the warden is going to be the hero for the knight of player. He does have a wisp free over here. Don't know why. Not a very good signal at this part of the game because you don't you don't want to have any kind of your workers standing free anyway. So I have a militia scout heading towards his base to see what is cooking, and I think I should be having another farm uh, around the clock in a few seconds now. Well, actually going for a tower and toward its towards it as it is at a location where I could uh, fend off my gold line as well as the lumber cutting villagers so as the archmage is ready i would be going for a power creeping at this camp from whatever i remember while well, he is going for the same thing while my peasant detects it right here and he is doing it uh, fairly well just as you should be doing it i guess and here comes the warden warden gonna be going there and helping to land the killing blow to that gunol over here while well, my peasant will be returning to the base and yes, will be going for a power creeping. I like to do it a little differently because I don't really take as many as uh, militia as most people do. I kind of am um, uh, lumber economic there. Uh, so just as I'm done creeping at this spot. Uh, actually it's not done, how much is left over here. So uh, the United player is done creeping out at the spot, gets a ring of protection plus two and the tomb of intelligence there and he will be heading towards this green camp to get to level two or is he gonna be going for an attack he seems to be confused for a second over there and he should be going for tier two in a few uh seconds or minutes rather well I, he's he actually sent a few wisps into to my uh base and actually had one detonate there uh, so, he is going to be creeping there, actually wasted some good time there, he could have prepped this out in the meantime where he actually was just standing and doing nothing, but let us hear the game goes, he does have a lot of uh, coal there and now utilizing it to check up and he doesn't really have anything to produce, but he should have, he should have, have dropped a hunter's all by now, hunter's all because well, you do have a lot of gold there, and I actually utilizing his gold for the items. Utilize the gold for the boost of speed and staff teleportation, which are very, very key items for any hero. And now, actually, heading towards my base, why I will be heading towards his base. And let's see who gets the best of it. I do have a tower over there to fend off, and these militias and these workers actually can uh, can be like made into militias anytime at all. While his moon wells are in grave danger over here, as I am attacking them, whatever I got. And one does actually go down at this point, I guess. And he is he will be using this TP. No, he's using the certain teleportation to get back, and now we'll be trying to fend off this attack by the warden the warden will be falling away my archmage archmage is actually running for dear life and the footman uh, picking up that moon well and here there goes the uh, there goes the uh, shadow strike and actually the people might be wondering uh, this is the this is the clip that i this is the video this is the replay from which i actually took the clip in my new intro that little warden using the shadow strike over the archmage this is this is the play this is the place where it all happened Anyways, now he uh, is uh, hiding away his 
Archer Y1 not very so successful. And I think now gonna be falling away my foot, my foot is gonna do down with that slow poisoning thing. And well, uh, as long as he's he will be shadow minute, I will be standing over here for a second. Warden will be coming towards my way, and actually now I'm making a mistake over here of <laughs> doing nothing because the warden has a good DPS and the shadow strike is just beast at this point. I am forced to use the TP, but even while using the TP, I am still being uh, in still under effect of shadow strike, which is actually draining out the hit points from the arch make. I am almost at tier 2 right now and he is done. Hunter Thal's ward dropped and some uh, some tier 2 buildings should be arriving any second now. And while he will be heading toward my base, I will be deciding to go for the creep camp at the fountain of health, which will get me to tier uh, which will get me to level 3 very very easily. Actually at this point I could even uh, had I would have even prepped out this and this one which could have helped me out there. But uh, let's see what it goes and uh, and now he's actually doing some sort of block over here, two archer block, not very really bad and did manage to take out the footman there and actually forced me to run back and I, I'm a, at the tavern. I'm pretty sure I'm going for a tavern hero right now, a dark ranger. Don't know why I took that one but because you don't really have uh, that many uh, low hit point idle unit I, I, except these archers that is. And when you're at tier 2, you don't really make that many archers, and they can like shadow land anytime in the night. Because these are ranged units, and the, the oh, black is arrow is uh, specifically good against uh, low hit points me melee units. <laughs> you can call them light infantry, something like the footmen, pools, and yeah, something like that. So the idol player is going to be staffing back to the, uh, his base and going to be trying to pick up that elemental which actually wasn't very useful because the elemental ha had to time out one way or another and it can't really destroy a building with whatever it has at the level two, uh, 1 or it, yes, it was a level 1 elemental as I'm still at level 2 with the arch make. Now as he will be done creeping at this green camp which he actually left for some reason before he will be charging towards my base with practically no, nothing, no, no, not many things researching Druid of the Claw, upgrade 1 and actually engaging in the middle yeah. in the middle, going after my Archmage, Archmage getting at a little more hit points but actually I'm targeting his hero as well at the same time and that black arrow actually I don't even know where that black arrow went and actually uh, that's actually a miss I guess or now the he's now, he's now trading Druid of Claws Druid of Claws uh, will be uh, a pretty very strong unit against this footman and will be helping him rejuvenate and heal at times. Well, he, I will be trying to pick up his moonwell, which is uh, successfully done over here. And while well, one of the footmen will picked up the shot strike, and well, now the game is actually kind of coming to an ending at this point because I, I do have a lot of units and he doesn't have many. And now he actually got his first read of the claw, which is still not, it still doesn't have, and he actually trying to get rejuvenated, but he actually failed there because of the um, actually narrow narrow positioning of these buildings. They had a very narrow opening, and even if one unit stood in the middle, uh, another could not pass, and which actually got his uh, warden dead. And now I will be charging in, destroying those moon wells one by one. Well, he will be. Practically, I, I do believe he's going for the tavern. It's gonna be taverning back the hero, but that won't be very useful if the moon wells are just destroyed. And actually, he can't tavern it back because the hero needs five, uh, five food capacity, which he doesn't even have at the moment at 28 over 3 and supply line. So that's GG for him. Anyways, uh, if you're watching this video, uh, two games are left by of us, I do believe, and. Yeah, I'd really love to make them. Uh, anyways, if anyone else is out there who is up for the challenge, uh, just just give me a private message that uh, you you did, you would like to have a game, and if they're good enough, I'll, I'll definitely cast it. Anyways, see. Uh